Hello everyone, I'm Rodney from 3GameMan.com and today I'm having a look at a gaming mouse from Cougar. It is their 550M. Now this thing looks great, comes with an awesome optical sensor, six fully programmable buttons, Omron switches, you can do bling bling because it has 16.8 million colors and you can customize it using software. The box it comes in is pretty darn tiny but very informative with pictures as well as features and specifications about it. Now it's great when a product is easy to open because let's face it, all you want to do is literally rip it out of the box and use it. Note the packaging, they include a user's manual, stickers, and the mouse, which is in a plastic bag. Pretty darn sweet looking mouse, right? But I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll have a closer look at it later. Let's first get the features and specifications out of the way. Now, it comes in two different colors. This one, the iron gray edition, and they have a metallic blue edition. Either one of them, I think, well, it looks sweet. Now looking beautiful is one thing, but does it have what it takes to be an excellent gaming mouse? Well, we'll see about that. But they're off to a good start with the SDNS 3988 optical gaming sensor. The resolution is from 50 all the way up to 6400 DPI, and it comes with a 32-bit ARM processor. The polling rate is 1000 Hertz. As I mentioned before, it comes with six programmable buttons, and their really good Cougar UIX system software. As well, it does 16.8 million colors. The frame rate is 12,500 frames per second. The IPS is 200, and the acceleration is 50 Gs. Now, some people might like this, and they might not. It comes with a braided 1.8 meter cable. Some prefer rubber cables. As well, it has a gold-plated end. It measures in at 135 by 70 by 45 millimeters and weighs 120 grams. And unfortunately, it doesn't have a weight system. Okay, so let's have a closer look. I'll first start on the left side where there are three LEDs and these indicate DPI. Note the grip. This looks like it's rubber, but it's actually not. It's a pattern that's literally etched within the plastic of the mouse itself. They have the same grip on the right side. This is fantastic because you don't have to worry about it being rubbed away. Now, while there are two buttons on the left side, there aren't any buttons on the right side. By the way, as I'm moving this mouse around, pay attention to the overall build quality. It's quite nice. The styling is just gorgeous as well. At the back, you've got a nice large LED. And remember, you can do 16.8 million colors with this. Their logo, a button at the top, which is kind of like a trigger. It says DPI, but of course you can program these buttons to whatever you like and have up to 21 different functions and macros and all kinds of good stuff. Your regular left click and right click buttons and the scroll wheel, which is rubberized and doubles as a button. And by the way, it is very smooth and offers some good resistance. And as you can see here, top of the mouse has a kind of a matte finish to it. Now my hands are medium sized and I had to say the mouse does fit my hand perfectly. And pay attention to this, the way that the cable comes out of the mouse. You definitely don't have to worry about it being ripped away. Although, some might be concerned that the cable is braided. Some prefer rubber cables and have a closer look at the gold-plated end. And at the bottom, you've got three very slippery feet. These will slide over any decent mouse surface with ease. And that fantastic 6,400 DPI optical sensor. Now let's have a look at the software. Here's where you would go to manage the different profiles, create new, edit, delete, import, export, copy, and reset. And below it is where you would change between them. Now you have different sections, performance, key or button assignment, 
and lighting control. Let's go back to performance where you can adjust the DPI. Note DPI 1, 2, and 3. You can slide these to wherever you want. And you can also independently control the X and Y axis. Here you've got the sniper DPI setting. And remember, of course, you can change the DPI on the fly from the mouse. On the right side, you can adjust the polling rate. You can have angle snapping on or off. You can adjust the lift height, double click speed, scroll speed, and windows pointer speed. Note that you can do one screen at a time and you can enable mouse acceleration. Now within button assignment here, well, you can assign the buttons to pretty much whatever you want. You got a basic, advanced, and you've got macros. Okay, so let's go within the lighting. Now this is pretty cool. I can have a different lighting setup. So let's just say that I want the left side to be breathing and yellow, but I want the back to be fully lit and red. Wow, this mouse is very impressive. It looks just amazing. Remember, you got two different color options, plenty of buttons with all kinds of functionality. You've got the bling bling with the 16.8 million colors and excellent software. I believe this is a mouse that a lot of gamers will be very, very happy with and it's not going to break the bank. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. Well, that's it, but I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you think this and other videos that I produce are great, please like them and subscribe to the channel. Also, your comments are very welcome. And if you have any questions, let me know.